Hello everybody and welcome to another week of Makers Monday. I am Anastasia Radloff aka Estampin' Blondie and I'm really excited to be back with you today after a two-week hiatus. Now last Monday was a federal holiday so I had the day off of work and I took the day off from crafting and it's just great to be back here to bring you today three projects featuring a brand new suite. Uh, it's not even available to order yet. Um, it will be next week, so I'm really excited to show you kind of a sneak peek of this fun upcoming suite that'll be an online exclusive. Now let me just make sure that I'm live here on Facebook. If I am, make sure to comment, say hi, let me know where you're joining me from. It's always fun to see where everybody is watching from each week. Uh, I'm also live over on YouTube as well, so if you are watching on YouTube, make sure to comment and say hi as well. Hi, Carol. I hope you had a great weekend. Now, uh, it was a beautiful weekend here in Tucson. Yesterday was 84 degrees. I got out. I enjoyed the sunshine and it was such a beautiful weekend to be able to be outside. Um, so I hope wherever you are, you've had an amazing weekend as well. And I am really excited to show you these three projects today. Now, before I jump into the projects, I just have a couple of quick announcements to go over, but then we will jump right into our projects today. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Corinne. I hope you guys had a great weekend as well. So let me go ahead and swap the camera and we will get started here. So the first thing is don't forget, this is the very last week for celebration. If you aren't too familiar with what Celebration is, it's a Stampin' Up's biggest promotion and it is January and February each year. So for every $50 you purchase, you get to choose an item out of the Celebration catalog absolutely free. There's everything in here from stamp sets, designer series paper, embellishments, ribbon, um, and a lot of fun different supplies as well. Some of it coordinates with our uh, catalog products. Some of it is just brand new, only available during celebration. So this ends Thursday, February 29th. We have an extra day because of leap year this year. Um, so don't forget celebration ends at the end of this week. Now with celebration is the uh, Stampin' Up! Join offer. So if your wish list is over $99 and is really long, joining Stampin' Up! is the best thing for you. Uh, you get to choose $125 worth in your choice of products. It can be anything from um, annual catalog, a mini catalog, the online exclusives, even the sneak peeks that I'm going to show you here today. Um, those are available as well. Um, and you get the option of one or two add-ons for free to your starter kit. So you can either choose the glass mat. Um, this is a glass stamping surface. It includes a chamois and like a rubberized uh, water coloring area. Um, the glass mat is great for getting really smooth stamps images on there as well as easy cleanup. If you like to do any kind of mixed media, the stamp mat is the glass mat is really good for that. Now, if you aren't into the glass mat, you can always choose option two, which is $30 an additional product of your choice. So either the glass mat or a $155 worth of product, all for $99, um, free shipping. So you don't have to pay any shipping on here. So this is a great offer if you have ever wanted to join Stampin' Up! or if your wish list is long, um, make sure to check out the join offer through the end of, um, well, through the end of Thursday, it ends Thursday. All right, now yesterday on my website, I announced March Club Craft and Create. Let's get that in camera view so you can see it. Uh, March Club Craft and Create. So this features what we are gonna be using our uh, products on as well. Uh, Latte Love is the stamp set and dies that we'll be featuring. This is the brand new stamp set, not available until March 5th, um, but we'll be using it for March Club Craft and Create. Now Club Craft and Create features a virtual video. So if you are not here in Tucson, you can uh, craft along with me during the virtual video, a full step-by-step -step PDF tutorial, as well as supplies to make eight projects. It's four different designs to each of those designs. And 
this month I kind of switched it up a little bit. So we're going to take three cards. So six cards because there's two different designs of those. But we're also going to be making a gift card holder as well. So um, here's kind of, you kind of get like a little sneak peek of the projects. But I just wanted to give you even more of a sneak peek on here. So here is a card. This is our gift card holder. So uh, very fun. We have another card here and another card here. So this is a March's Club Craft and Create. Deadline to register for this is March 8th. There's a link in the description of this video right now that you can click on it and learn all about Club Craft and Create. Um, if you wanna add on the bundle, um, you can do that as well. So uh, make sure to check out Club Craft and Create. It's very fun. Um, and I'm really excited about these projects this month. I love this coffee set. It's so cute. I love it so much. I had to do a club craft and create event with it plus a Maker's Monday. That's how much I love it. All right, the past uh, two weeks, we have some prize patrols to give away. Now, um, two weeks ago, the prize patrol was the uh, Simply Chamois. So if you aren't too familiar with what prize patrol is, all you have to do is share this video and comment that you shared and you're entered into Prize Patrol. Um, the Simply Shamly, Shammy, this is a stamp cleaning tool. So you get it wet, right now it's kind of hard as a rock. Uh, you get it wet and um, you can clean off your stamps with no chemicals needed. You just need this and water and that'll clean off your stamps. So the winner from two weeks ago was Pam Simmons. So congratulations, Pam. I think I have your address already, so no need to send that in unless you've moved recently. Um, so congratulations to Pam. You're the winner of our prize patrol from two weeks ago. Now, last week's Prize Patrol, because I did not have a Facebook Live, I posted for you to show me your most recent project that you were working on. Anything from card making, scrapbooking, any kind of crafting. Um, so I got some great responses. I love to see what others are working on. And the prize from that was a package of the hot air balloon uh, designer series paper. This is from our mini catalog. I just did a full um, retreat on this. So here are the projects I made from this retreat. It was uh, eight cards and they make, uh, si they made 16 projects. So this was the retreat for that. So the winner of this was Cindy Greider. Congratulations, Cindy. Thank you so much for posting your project that you're working on. Like I said, I love to see what everybody else is crafting and creating. It helps share ideas and just to see how products can be used in a variety of ways. Now this week's Prize Patrol is one of my favorite tools. I use it all the time. I'm gonna use it tonight as well so you'll be able to see how it works. This is the Take Your Pick tool. So this is what it looks like it, uh, if you aren't familiar with what it is. Um, it does come with a putty end to help pick up gems. I take mine off just because I rarely use the putty end. Um, but this side has a very sharp pointed end and then you can flip it over and it has a spatula. So these are really great for helping you pick up rhinestones, gems, mini glue dots, um, a variety of embellishments. So take your pick tool is our uh, prize patrol this week. It comes in this little box, all the, um, the putty tool, I think it comes with two putty ends um, and that pointed tip. So take your pick tool, one of my favorite, favorite tools that is our prize patrol this week. Oh, sorry, my computer is falling over. There we go. It's a laptop that turns into a tablet and I have it standing up on its end, so I have to be very careful with it. Okay, our three projects. Well, first I wanna share, this is the project that I uh, showcased on my website and Facebook page yesterday, just kind of a sneak peek of the Latte Love stamp set. Now this whole entire suite is gonna be available starting March 5th on the online exclusives. So it won't be found in any of our catalogs, annual catalog, mini catalog, it'll exclusively, exclusively be hosted online. So in this, there is the stamp set. Here it is, Latte Love, photopolymer stamps, 15 stamps, um, and you have a mixture of images and sentiments, which I love. 
Now there's also dies to go along with it. Now these dies are fun because not only do they cut out some of the images from the stamp set, but they also cut out additional images as well. So we have a French press here, um, a coffee pot, you have um, these little like coffee cups. So a variety of more images that you can die cut from this set. Now also there is, these are the adhesive backed swirls. Uh, swirl dots. So I'm going to kind of show you a little closer. Hopefully you guys can see in the dots. There's little swirls of um, I would say they're kind of pecan pie little swirls. So it comes in. Um, let's say this is pecan pie petal pink and just a uh, very vanilla. So very fun. They're all one size. So no various sizes here. Um, but those are the adhesive backed swirl dots. Also being released, this is the polka dot trim. It's three eighths of an inch and it's kind of like a burlap ribbon. Um, it is a stiffer ribbon, so it's a little harder to tie into a bow, um, but still really great to use on your projects. And this goes with like every occasion. So it's a, it's a multi-use ribbon for a variety of occasions. Now the last thing you can kind of see, I've been using this paper a lot. So I just kind of have a little bit of the scraps to show with you, but we have some fun designer series paper. This one has coffee cups on one side and then um, this pattern paper down here. We have those coffee splotches, which I used on that project yesterday. Backside is just blue striped. These kind of heart like latte art that's a big thing um this is really fun like heart shapes and then you have a petal pink crumb cake swirl on the back of course you have to have your coffee beans and then the back side is this fun plaid now these images here do coordinate with the dies so you can um die cut them out or you can fussy cut them out with scissors back side is some more coffee stained images and then we have our Calypso Coral coffee beans. And then on the back side of this is just a swirl here. Now I'm gonna be using this piece on one of our projects here today. You can see I cut out all of them. Um, some of these do have dies that go with them, but for me, it was just easier to hand cut them out. It's very simple to cut these out. And that's where you have those coffee cups at. So this is the Latte Love Sweet. Everything can be purchased individually or um, as an entire suite starting March 5th on the online exclusives. Um, but I wanted to give a little sneak peek today. So here's that project that I showed yesterday. But the three projects that we are going to work on here today is this one. This says, hello there, let's catch up. I wanted to add those two coffee mugs and then this ribbon, like I mentioned, it works really well for um, tying. I'm just tying it in a knot. Um, it's kind of stiff to do the bow. So um, a knot is really easy for that. We have this one. You're the best part of my day. Kind of mixture of patterns here with our two different designer series papers. And then my favorite project that we're going to work on today is this little coffee packet. So um, these are, I got these at Costco. So um, I'm not, you know, Costco sometimes has stuff come and go all the time. So you'll have to check these out. Um, but I know like Starbucks has these kind of little um they call them frappuccino packets. Um, but this one says this one's on me. And so it's just a little fun kind of coffee packet holder. Very simple and easy to make. And this can make a really great gift to somebody. So, oh, my husband said you're the best part of my day. Oh, right back at ya. I'm glad that he's watching. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to work on our first card here, which is this one. And so we have our piece. Oh, don't forget all of these uh, uh, dimensions are on this PDF on my website. So um, stampablondie.com has all of the information you need for this, which is great for that 3D project. So you don't have to write anything down. It's right here at the bottom. All the things I have highlighted in yellow are items that are uh, being released on March, for, on March 
5th. So you can uh, see all of these items here that are coming soon. And don't forget there's a backside as well. Yes, Denise, he is a keeper. I, I got a great one there. <laughs> he loves those cappuccino packets. I, I think this may be the last one that we have because I tried to hunt down another one just so I could have two for this video. But I think this is the last one that we, we may have. All right, this project is an easel card. So it is cut to uh, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And we're gonna use our bone folder here just to crisp up our line. Set that off to the side. We have a piece of Early Espresso cardstock, very fitting for this sweet named Early Espresso. And we're going to add that right to our card base first. That's gonna go right here in the middle. Now we can't have a coffee card without coffee bean designer series paper. So we're gonna add this right on top of our espresso cardstock, and that'll go right there. Right. Now this also another piece of early espresso, and this is the back side of that card that I showed yesterday on my website. So here's the back side these very nice blue stripes. And this is gonna go onto that piece of early espresso. So right in the middle there. Now we're gonna take a piece of this ribbon and I'm just going to drape it across just so we have enough to kind of wrap around the back. So about that much. And I'm gonna use let me grab it right here. I'm going to use Stampin' Seal Plus for this pack. <laughs> he says give it back. He wants that cappuccino packet. It's mine. <laughs> so I'm going to use Stampin' Seal Plus over my Stampin' Seal adhesive. So what is the difference between the two? Stampin' Seal regular adhesive is just great for your everyday crafting like I did putting down these pieces of cardstock. Just regular tape runner. Your stamp and seal plus is more of your stronger adhesive. So you um, you don't want to use this for everyday crafting because if you need to peel something off, it's definitely gonna rip your cardstock. So the stamp and seal plus, I'm using that because this ribbon, um, you don't want to use liquid glue on it because it is um, I wouldn't say it's porous, but it's kind of it's not complete. It's got like threads through it. So liquid glue will ooze through the ribbon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Stamp and Seal Plus, so this is gonna really help it uh, stick on the back side here. And we're just gonna wrap it around. And I don't wanna pull it too tight because if I pull it too tight, it is going to curl the cardstock on the front. But we're just gonna add some of our Stamp and Seal Plus and kind of glue that down to our card. Same thing on this side. And it's just gonna help it tack it down on the back. And then you can kind of strain out the front. There we go. So you can see I didn't pull it too tight um, and it's not gonna curl the front, but it'll stay on the back side tacked down there and it'll stay on the paper. So now we have our ribbon across the front. We're gonna use uh, Stampin' Dimensionals to glue this down now. So my dimensionals, I just had them, here they are. We're gonna add four dimensionals. And this is because our ribbon is a little thicker around the outside. So the dimensionals will help pop it up and it won't be um, getting in the way of the paper when it's laid down to the card. All right, I'm adding a little more dimensionals here than normal just because I want it to really stick with that ribbon onto our paper. There we go. And then this will go right into the middle of our card. Now I'm gonna cut out two of those coffee cups from the designer series paper. I chose we're going to use this uh, blue one on a next project, so I'm just going to cut these, this section of three out here. Like I mentioned, um, this yellow cup does have a die to go with it, but I found that fussy cutting these out is really simple, so you don't have to have a die for these. So we've got 
this Calypso Coral cup that we're gonna cut out. Now I'm just gonna do a quick cut on these, but it'll be very easy to fussy cut them out. Hi, Lisa, I'm glad you were able to catch me live tonight. I hope you had a great weekend and everybody else as well. I'm telling you, it was so nice here in Tucson this weekend. It was 84 yesterday and 80 on Saturday. And then this morning we wake up and it's thunderstorming in, Jan in February. Like, it, it was so weird. <laughs> we, we don't get too much rain in the winter. I mean, we do get some. But to wake up to a thunderstorm was, I saw the flash of lightning and I was like, is, was that lightning? That's, that's how rare it is for it to kind of rain here in the winter time. <laughs> Well, for it to thunderstorm, really. All right, so we've got our cup cut. So you can see how fast that was. By the time I cut it out, it's much easier than being able to um, get the die cut machine out and get everything set up. Uh, yes, Sue, this is a part of an online collection. It'll be debuted March 5th. Uh, so this is called Latte Love. And it has, it's an entire suite. It has dies, stamp, embellishments, ribbon, designer series paper, the whole, the whole shebang. All right, so I added my first cup down and then the second one with our dimensionals. We're going to stamp our sentiment. It says, hello there, let's catch up. And that is going to be in early espresso. And I'll just bring it closer new release next week. I'm so excited. As a demonstrator, we can pre-order these things before the month before they're released to customers. So that's why I have it as a demonstrator. Um, but it'll be available to everybody starting next week. All right, we're going to add our sentiment down here. I'm using liquid glue for this because I want to make sure everything lines up and I have a little space of wiggle room there. For our bow, like I mentioned, this um, this ribbon is kind of hard to tie into a bow just because it is a little more stiffer than normal. But I'm going to take a, a piece about maybe four-ish inches long and we're going to thread it underneath perpendicular and we're just going to tie it into a knot. So you still kind of get that bow effect, but it's easier to tie. And I'm going to try to twist that so both of the dots show on both sides. And we're going to trim it at an angle. Go. And then the final bit on this one, we're going to add these um, adhesive back swirl dots. These are the embellishment of this week. So you can, if you place an order of $35 on my website uh, using the host code that's on the screen there, you get to choose um, you get these uh, class kits to go. Sorry, my brain just kind of blanked. You get these class kit pieces, and if you place a $50 order or more, you get a celebration item, and I will throw in a package of these swirled dots for you as well. So there's our embellishments, and that is our first card today featuring the Latte Love Sweet. I really like this project with the blue in the background, the Calypso Coral and the Lemon Lolly. It just really pops against the brown of the background. And then the Hello There Let's Catch Up. That's really fun with the two mugs there. So I hope you guys like this project. This is my second favorite this week. Uh, of course, that uh, coffee packet is definitely going to be my favorite. Okay, you had a snow thunderstorm. You know, we had snow thunderstorms when I lived in Iowa and they were always so cool. Just fascinating to see thunder during a snowstorm. It's so weird. <laughs> All right. Our second project today is a heavy featuring designer series paper. So this one has a crumb cake card base. Uh, and then we have two pieces of that designer series paper, one with that, the little hearts from the latte art, and then our Calypso coral beans. So we're going to use our bone folder to crisp up our line, like always. Put 
that off to the side. And then we are going to, before we glue on our designer series paper card base, we're gonna add on this piece of designer series paper. Now we're gonna add it at an angle. So this piece is longer than our uh, mat piece here. And that's so we can glue it on and then we're gonna trim the edges so it's flush with the designer series paper. So we've got our liquid glue. We're only gonna add glue really to that middle piece there and that'll go diagonally across our paper. And then just kind of rub the back to make sure it stays. And then with your scissors, just cut it flush. I really like this layout um, for scraps. We all have those smaller pieces of either cardstock or designer series paper that you really don't know what to do with. So this little diagonal piece here is a great way to use up those scraps. All right, we're gonna add that on with our stamp and seal. We can put our stamp and seal plus away because we're not gonna use that anymore. I will tell you um, when Stampin' Up released their new adhesive, what was it like two, two years ago, two and a half, maybe th almost three years ago when they switched over to stamp and seal and stamp and seal plus. Um, I rarely use stamp and seal plus. I think that's still the same, um, the same pack like roll from when I first bought it. That's how rare I use stamp and seal plus. All right, we have our diagonal piece on here, our designer series papers. Now we're going to stamp our two coffee cups. So we're going to use this stamp right here, which is really fun because you have kind of a variety of different, um, little, it's called latte art where people take the foam for a latte and they make different designs in the coffee cup. It's really cool. If you get a chance, check it out on like YouTube. Some of them are very intricate, but we're just going to use this heart shaped one here and we're going to stamp the coffee cup in Lost Lagoon. And then the inside is going to be early espresso, the col color of coffee. So we're going to stamp our two Lost Lagoon coffee cups first. Now there, this is just a spare piece of basic white cardstock. Probably should get it into shot so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, just a scrap piece of basic white. And then we're gonna do the latte art. And that'll be early espresso. And make sure that's really inked up. And my coffee cups are going to go this way. So I want my heart to go the right way. There we go. And there we go. Can I show the coffee packet if time permits that I talk about with card one? Yes. So I haven't gotten to that project yet. I'll show it again, but we'll definitely, I'll show you that coffee packet again. So this one says you're the best part of my day. And we're going to stamp that in um, Lost Lagoon cardstock with early espresso ink. So we're just going to ink that up and that'll be right in that little piece there. Again, that's a scrap of cardstock that I had. So a great way to use up all of your scraps. Now there is a die to go along with this, but again, it's very simple to cut out. It's just a circle. Um, so by the time I got my die machine out and got everything set up, I could easily just hand cut all of this out. So I wanted to show you a different way that you can still use the stamps, even if maybe the dies aren't on your wish list. There's some noise going on outside. I don't, I think somebody has their music like blaring. I don't know what they're doing. So if you hear that in the background, I apologize. I don't know what's going on out there. <laughs> It's like every time I try to go live every week, somebody's always racing their four wheeler or blurry music or like tearing down my street. I don't, don't they know I'm trying to do a Facebook live? <laughs> All right, so we're just hand cutting these out. Like I said, very simple and easy to hand cut them out. It's the dude next door blaring mariachi. <laughs> it doesn't sound like mariachi. Uh, we do have some neighbors. They're awesome because they have 
They have had in the past a live mariachi band come and play in their backyard. So we just go and sit in our backyard and listen to the free mariachi concert. <laughs> That's one thing I'm gonna miss about Tucson is I'm gonna miss the, mar the live mariachi concerts that we get. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take our two coffee cups and we're just gonna layer them onto our card here with some liquid glue. And then our sentiment piece is gonna go on with dimensionals. And that will go right over our coffee cups here. And I'm gonna add just one, or sorry, I'm gonna add three of these uh, early espresso little gems here. Now, like I said, take your pick is the, um, prize patrol for this week so this is how it's used and then I'm just going to add one there and then two below the sentiment it's kind of hard to see because they're kind of the same color as the background paper but there is our second project today featuring the latte love stamp set this one does not have any of our dies or the ribbon but I wanted to show some of the different um products in this suite heavy on the designer series paper for this one so i hope you guys like this project as well all right my absolute favorite project this week is this little coffee packet so we have um like i said these are latte um frappe mixes i got them at costco um but all i did is no matter what packet you have uh, no matter what size it is, it can easily be made into this packet. So all I did is I just took my uh, coffee packet here and I took a piece of cardstock underneath it um, and just kind of measured out one that would be a little larger than the size of the coffee packet. So if you're using the Starbucks Frappuccino ones, I know those are a little bit wider. Um, so all you have to do is just make your cardstock a little bit wider and it'll still work. So here's the side of it. So it's open on the side. Uh, so very easy and simple to put together. So for this one, I have, now remember all of these measurements are on that project PDF tutorial. So if I'm missing something or if I don't give a measurement, you can easily print it off of that. So this is, I'm gonna give you the measurement of this. This is pecan pie cardstock and it's one and seven eighths by 10 and a half. And I have it scored at four and four and a half. So I'm just going to use my bone folder here to create that kind of little shelf where that coffee packet is going to sit. So there is your little coffee packet holder. You can see how simple this is to put together. So I have two pieces of designer series paper. This is one and five eighths by three and three fourths. So the first one, we're gonna adhere to the front of our packet and I'm using liquid glue because I need a couple of seconds to shift and shimmy the paper if it's not right in the exact spot that I want it. There we go. All right, now the second piece is gonna go up here. So I'm not using a full piece of designer series paper. No need to use an entire piece if nobody's gonna see what's down here. So just use a smaller piece then you can save your designer series paper for more projects. So this one will go on the inside here. And now we have the outside of our little coffee packet here. Now this is our little sentiment piece. This is from the Stylish Shapes dies. This is the littlest banner size that they have. And the sentiment that I'm gonna use is this one's on me. Now I felt like this was a really great sentiment to use for you know gifting somebody this, but for Club Craft and Create, this is the sentiment that we're using for the gift card holder. So it'll be a coffee themed, card but you can put whatever kind of gift card in it you want now i'm gonna go off screen to stamp this just because it's so tiny i want to make sure that i'm right where i need it to be but there is our little sentiment 
this one's on me. And I mentioned earlier we were going to use this little coffee mug. This is kind of a weird shape. I don't know what shape this is, uh, but we're just going to fussy cut this out. Um, there is not a die to go along with this. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a travel mug. I mean, we kind of have a blue mug that flares out like this a little bit. So it is a travel mug. So I don't know if it's supposed to be this, but we're going to use it on the card because I think this Lost Lagoon and Pecan Pie color combination really go well together. So we're just going to cut that out. Can you use super glue to prevent bows from coming untied? Maybe, it depends on what type of ribbon you're using. If you're wanting to use like a, a satin ribbon, I would not use super glue because it would soak through the satin of the ribbon. For this, I wouldn't recommend super glue either because it could come through. This is, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not a full, piece of ribbon. It's got like burlap parts to it, like strings. So I wouldn't use super glue either. Any kind of liquid glue on this, it's just going to come apart. So I wouldn't use it on there. Um, I would just use regular multi-purpose liquid glue because that'll help glue it down. I wouldn't use super glue on crafting, just especially with paper. It's too, uh, it, it just tends to, um, bleed through a lot. So I wouldn't recommend super glue. You could always try it, but I wouldn't recommend super glue. Now to add this little sentiment piece to our card, we're going to use these edge pieces of dimensionals. The strip works perfectly for this little piece of die cut. So we're going to put that right in the middle there. And we're going to add this at an angle across that coffee pot. Now I'm just going to take this out so I can kind of put the rest of it together. So we've got our coffee packet. Now we're going to add some ribbon. And this is probably way more ribbon that we're going to use. But I'm going to slide it under the coffee packet. Because we want it to kind of come right across there and let's see about that much now because we are going to tie this into a bow i am going to be using a lot more ribbon than normal just because i want ribbon to work with it is a little harder to tie so i want to make sure i have what i need and we're just going to tie this now when you tie a bow you'll see that because this ribbon only has polka dots on one side we're going to kind of twist the ribbon so that polka dots will be on both sides when we tie our bow and then we're just going to pull it through and we're going to twist this end here as well to get those polka dots to show through and then you're going to pull now this one's gonna have a bigger ribbon. So here's the ribbon on the sample. You can see it's a bigger ribbon. I am just gonna trim this off a little bit. It's a little long on that end and this end. But this is our coffee packet here featuring the Latte Love stamp set. I hope you guys like this one. Oh, it looks like my camera was moving a little bit so you guys couldn't see much. There we go. So there is the coffee packet. Now, the best part about this is that it's really easy to kind of take out the coffee because you're not, you don't have it like glue dotted in there or anything. It's not glued in, so it's really easy to take this out. Um, another suggestion for this is um, you can always use, you know, those honey sticks. Um, they have like different honey flavorings. You can put those in here and you could use that same design using those little honey sticks for um, like teas and everything like that. Now, like I said, Frappuccino, Starbucks has these as Frappuccinos. I got these at Costco, um, but whatever size packet you use, you can easily make the designer series paper and the cardstock just a little bit wider depending on your packet size. 
When I made my sample, I just kind of guesstimated. I just went a little bit larger on each side than my actual packet. So very easy to kind of um, coordinate and shift your project depending on what size of a packet you're working on. So there is our third project today featuring our uh, Latte Love stamp set, designer series paper, new embellishments all coming March 5th as an online exclusive. Uh, Andrew Radloff is a Stampin' Up stamper in disguise. He, I will tell you, he does use Stampin' Up products. He builds plastic models like tanks and airplanes. He has used Stampin' Up products on his tanks and airplanes before. So yes, he is a Stampin' Up stamper. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's bring in all three projects today and let me know in the comments which one is your favorite here today. We'll get some of this out of the way so we can get all three projects in here. I have to say that coffee packet is definitely my favorite, but close second is this one with the coffee cups here. So let me know which one is your favorite. Um, I'm thinking maybe this one may come out ahead this week. All right, well, thank you everybody for joining me for this week's Makers Monday. As a reminder, Thursday is the final day of celebration. So if you place an order of $50 or more using the host code that's posted here on the screen, you can get this week's class kit to go, the adhesive swirled dots, as well as your choice in celebration item. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you next time.